Okay, we're just north of Thunder Bay, Ontario. Going to do a geocache called Commemorative Cairn. A little uh, memorial put up for the Northwestern Ontario geocachers. So, just to show you how remote we are, we're in the middle of nowhere. Bugs are horrendous. And it's still, what, May 26th, I think it is. So we'll take a spin to this cache. It's just up ahead. A little bit of bushwhacking, but we'll make our way to it. Okay, you just got to do a little bit of bushwhacking. Not that bad. Just, these bloody bugs are bad. Ow. Here a bit of traffic on the highway, Highway 527 to Armstrong, Ontario, and there it is. Now this guy that put it out, holy mackerel, his name is Chris Dom. That's his geocaching name. He actually brought these stones and cement Got a plaque made up. And assembled this. But the really cool thing is how he hit it. I mean, this has got to be one of the better caches I've ever seen to start with. But he outdoes himself. You could look around looking for the cache, not knowing where it is. You look and you look all around, but guess what? See this rock? Look at that. Now ain't that something? To build this, to bring it all out north of the city, cement, rocks, and assemble it, and it fits like a glove. And then you just open it up here, log sheet inside and some tradable items. But look at this. Look at how it fits. You would never know if you didn't know. And we know. Because <laughs> a lot of people talk about it, so it's one of the most favorited caches I believe in the area and for a reason so we'll just sign the log and that'll be it but anyway thought I'd share that with you because it's an amazing feat just to bring all this equipment to do this and then have that piece fit so perfectly in the middle of nowhere Anyway, hope you enjoyed that one. We sure did.